All right, I can kick things off. So I'm talking about Balboa's bike today. So as always, uh, source for this one, I just made reference to a match report from Transfer Market, uh, as well as finding the goal, the bicycle kick itself on YouTube. Nothing crazy special in the sources for this one. Uh, but the date is April 4th, 2000. No, nope, that's definitely not right. Uh, I think it's actually April 22nd. 2000 let me double check really quick though yes i don't know where the four came from sorry april 22nd 2000 is the date the colorado rapids are taking on the columbus crew uh because we absolutely must always talk about the crew on mls history uh, i feel like every week we talk about them but the crew are back again uh unfortunately for the sake of this goal this was a home game for the crew so we don't get to see a wild crowd reaction from the Colorado Rapid face faithful um, to this point in their existence. The Rapids have not really had anything to cheer for. The team has not won anything thus far. And their best finish so far was fifth out of 12 teams. So not a great start for them. The lineups for this day, I'll run through who's on uh, each side. Maybe trigger a little nostalgia for you. If you remember any of these players for the crew, I apologize ahead of time if I butcher these names, and I'm sure I will. Mark Daugherty, Mike Clark, Ansel Elcock, Mike Lapper, John DeBrito, Mario Gori, John Wilmar uh, Perez, Brian West, the fake Brian White, Robert uh, Warzica, Brian McBride, and Dante Washington. And the lineup for the Rapids... Got David Kramer, Lance Key, Chris Martinez, Scott Vermillion, uh, Marcelo Balboa, of course, Jason Moore, David Vaud Vaudrill, uh, Anders Limpar, Jorge uh, Deli Valdez, uh, Paul Daugherty, and uh, uh, Junio Agogo. So let's talk about the game itself. There's, there's not too much pre the game or post the game. It's really just focused on the game and the bike bicycle kick itself. Uh, so even regardless of the Balboa goal, Balboa goal, this was a very exciting game. Uh, six minutes in right from the get go, Dante Washington opens the scoring for Columbus. It did not take very long for Colorado to level the score though. Four minutes later, uh, Jorge Deli Valdez levels the scoring for Colorado. Uh, after that, there's no scoring for the rest of the half, so it goes in 1-1. But I mentioned this to you before we actually started recording. Uh, Robert Warjica, I said he was involved in this. That's because he gets a straight red card in the 21st minute for Columbus. So Colorado will get to play a man up for 69 minutes. Second half kicks off. Not long after that, we're here at Balboa's bike. So... The play goes like this. It's a throw-in on the right flank for Colorado. Uh, the throw-in is collected by a go-go, who then lays it off for Limpar, who crosses it into the box a little bit behind a very advanced Balboa. Um, he's kind of towards the edge of the box. He's definitely a little bit far deeper in the box. Uh, considering the cross was a bit behind him, obviously, there's only one thing you could do in that situation. Go for the bicycle kick. And Balboa absolutely strikes the ball beautifully and knocks it past the diving Daugherty to not only score an absolute wonder goal, but put Colorado ahead in the game as well. Uh, and th for those of you that don't know, Marcelo Balboa is a center back. So we're not talking Cristiano Ronaldo, Robert Lewandowski, one of the best attackers in you know the history of the sport. Or any attacker getting uh, this bicycle kick goal. No, this is a center back that came up. First of all, I have no idea why he was so far in the box. There were two, like two guys in the box. One of them was center back Marcelo Balboa. But anyway, uh, he's there. Scores an absolute wonderful uh, bicycle kick goal. I recommend you go look it up yourself and and give it a watch. Uh, Major League Soccer posted it, uh, so the video is there online. But yeah, so then the rest of the game plays out. Not only did they get the bicycle kick goal in the 55th minute, but five minutes later, the crew concede again. 
with a go-go grit, uh, getting another goal for the Rapids, making it 3-1 Colorado. So the rest of the game, there's not too much that goes on. Dante Washington gets a consolation goal in the 80th minute, make things look a bit closer than they actually were. But ultimately, Colorado holds on to win the game 3-2. to two. Um, Considering how the rest of the season went for the Rapids, I would probably say that this was the highlight of the year for the Rapids. Uh, but you know what's the wildest thing about all of this? Did you know that Balboa didn't even win goal of the year that year for this goal? Did you have a guess on what the goal of the year could be? I'm I, I'm trying to remember back. They put together like a, all the goals of the year. It was. It might might have come from the crew. Uh, not no, it might not have. I have no idea. No, I'm kidding. Of course, this was goal of the year. Come on, now this is probably like goal of the decade for MLS. <laughs> See, now, you're, now you're being beaten. That's not nice. <laughs> yeah, Balboa's bike was obviously goal of the year that year. Um, but yeah, that's a that's probably the one shining moment that the Rapids had in their first few seasons in MLS. All right. So a couple notes. You 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 mentioned that they played up a man. How long they play up a man for? are you just looking to say nice they play they were up a man for 69 minutes nice there you go <laughs> I, I was trying so hard to unmute before it, but i heard it and i just couldn't um so so before rooney before ronaldo before bell right all these you know this is a lot of time before all that happened there's marcella babo and when you look at any compilation of like the best goals in mls this is up there because it was just, as you mentioned, just so out of pocket, like <laughs> 2000, a center back in the box for no reason whatsoever gets up and hits this thing better than Rooney versus city catches it clean as can be and absolutely launches. it. He's a U.S. men's national team, of course, uh, center back and, and had his time there. Um, but yeah, this is one when you're like, getting a hype video for the beginning of the year and you're talking about like how MLS has changed that 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 goal is in there consistent. He hit that thing so good, so clean. Um I I still think it's the best in league history. I think there've been a couple of other pretty good ones. Dyrona Spria has like seven to his name right now, but um yeah, I I would still put it up there as one of the best in in the league history. In the short league history, but man, he 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 cleaned house with that one. Yeah, for sure. And I mean, it's it was a goal that was so good. I'm pretty sure even the Columbus fans were probably appreciating that one. Oh, yeah, I bet. Just sitting around like, oh, man, that's we're probably just saw something really special there, whether they knew about <laughs> it. Or not. Um, but yeah, again, it, it may not be super significant in terms of, you know, history to the league or, or memories of people, you know, the the memories of a run to a final or something like that but man that goal is is very significant to what this league is because it, you see it so frequently like if you look at the Rooney goal versus uh City or even the Zlatan goal against England right like there's not much in terms of what the game meant I don't know if the City did I mean I know it was a derby but I don't know if that meant anything outside of just being a derby but the, the Zlatan versus uh, England one, right? That was just in Euro qualifier, maybe just the Euros itself. And uh, everybody knows about it. Everybody can look and be like, oh my God, remember that? Same deal here, right? It's it's important. People need to know about it. And that's why we're here to tell it. 